Hello, and welcome to Criminality, a true crime podcast. Today, we will be talking about the ongoing case of Urza Miller. Urza Matthew Miller was born in New Jersey on September 30th, 1992. Miller has two older sisters named Saya and Caitlin. Urza's mother, Martha Miller, is a modern dancer. Their father, Robert S. Miller, was senior vice president and managing director of Hyperion Books and later became a publisher at Workman Publishing. Miller's father is Jewish, whereas their mother is a Christian of Dutch and German descent. Miller self-identifies as Jewish and spiritual. At the age of six, they started to train as an opera singer in order to overcome a speech impediment. They have sung with the Metropolitan Opera and performed in the American premiere of Philip Glass's Opera White Raven. They attended Rockland County Day School and the Hudson School, dropping out at age 16 after the release of the film After School. Miller's film career began with the aforementioned film and appeared in several other films, including the movie where they first came onto my radar, 2012's The Perks of Being a Wallflower. 2016 was a huge year for Miller as they starred in two blockbuster films that year. Urza appeared in Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them as Credence Barebone and also as Barry Allen in Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. With a solo The Flash film rumored to be in the pipeline and multiple installments of the Fantastic Beast in the works, things were looking up for Miller. But then, starting in 2020, running through the present, we began to witness a series of escalating events that paint a troubling picture of the young actor. In April 2020, a video surfaced of Miller appearing to choke a woman in a bar in Iceland. The video shows Miller saying, oh, you want to fight? That's what you want to do? To a young woman who appears to be jokingly preparing herself for a fight. Miller then grabs her by the throat and throws her to the ground. According to a source at the bar, this all took place after Miller was confronted by a group of eager fans. You learn it? Did you want to fight? Is that the deal? Whoa, bro, 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 bro. Fight? Things remained relatively quiet until mid-March of this year, when Urza was accused of committing several minor offenses in Hawaii. Police say Miller was the source of at least 10 calls since March 7th, mostly for minor offenses like filming people at a gas station, refusing to leave the sidewalk area of a restaurant, and arguing with people. Then, on the evening of March 27th, the actor was arrested for harassment and disorderly conduct at a karaoke bar. Miller was apparently yelling obscenities, grabbed the mic from a singing woman, and lunged at a man playing darts, according to the police. They were released after paying a $500 bail, and video footage emerged from the arrest. I'm not transgender non-binary, I don't want to be searched by a man. I'm transgender non-binary and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. No, 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 I got assaulted and I started filming. Okay. Let's, Let me show talk, you the video. let's talk stories outside. Let's talk stories outside. Dear Ezra Miller, this is from the warrants, but he's caution codes on the table 29 location. I got assaulted in this bar twice in a row. I filmed myself when I get assaulted for NFT crypto art. What's your name? What's your badge number? Tell me your name and your badge number. White key. Ezra. Full name, full badge number. I mean, just I mean, arrested for disorderly conduct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was assaulted. Okay. 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 But no, you wanted to play the game. I was no, complying. Well, you're the one that complained. I was. You said get off the road, get off the road. No, you did it. I did. No, you I didn't. Uh, yeah, no, so what did I do wrong? The guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay. I claim my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully persecuted for a crime of no designation. Disorderly conduct being something I am unguilty of. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be searched and seized on no probable cause that you will not be able to offer in a court of law. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights to not be Unlawful. Hey, you just touched my penis. Please don't do that. I'm not transgender, non-binary. I don't want to be searched by a man. 
I'm transgender and I'm binary and I don't want to be searched by a man. I claim my Fourth Amendment rights. They're Nerf guns, just in case you worry that they're bullets. Those are Nerf bullets. Thank you for letting me They are me fake and they are a toy. Thank you for letting me know. There's my belt buckle and my Nerf bullets. I appreciate that. Please don't take them from me. I have nerve damage from police handcuffs. In my life in New Jersey, I know y'all are not those cops, but please, please do not damage my nerves and my hands again. It'd be really, really awful for me. Sorry, sir. I'm not a sir, I'm transgender, not binary, because you're referring to me as sir, it's not a right here. Okay. okay. No, I was just trying to be respectful. If you fail to do that again, that is an act of intentional bigotry and it is a technical hate crime according to U.S. federal law. Please call me they, them, theirs. You can use the term mix. Okay. Or is your body cam still on? Yeah, sit down. Would you make sure it's on? Yeah, it's on. Please don't touch me with the false sacred religious material. I'd really appreciate you being touched with it all from my religion, Judaism. On March 29th, a couple filed a petition asking court for a temporary restraining order. According to The Independent, the complaint says Miller burst into the bedroom of the petitioners and threatened the alleged male victim by saying, I will bury you and your slut wife. The restraining order was later dropped. On April 19th, Miller was arrested for second-degree assault when Miller reportedly threw a chair at a 26-year-old woman, striking her in the head, according to police reports. Now, for the most disturbing aspect of the current case. On June 8th, parents of the 18-year-old Dakota Iron Eyes asked the court for a protective order against Miller. According to TMZ, based on new legal docs, 18-year-old Dakota Iron Eyes met Miller in 2016 when she was just 12 and he was 23. They met while the actor was visiting the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. Her parents say they formed a friendship that put her at risk and claimed the actor supplied her with alcohol, marijuana, and LSD. The parents say Miller told Iron Eyes to go by the name Gibson and took her car keys and credit cards. Although her parents obtained a protective order against Urza, Law enforcement has been unable to locate Miller in order to serve the actor with the order. The court set a hearing for July 12th to allow Dakota and Miller to appear and weigh in per Iron Eyes' statement, though it seems that Urza will not make the hearing as he has taunted the authorities online before deleting said taunts. On June 16th, the family of a 12-year-old child in Greensfield, Massachusetts has accused Miller of acting inappropriately and harassing them one evening in their downstairs neighbor's home, and on Wednesday were granted a temporary harassment prevention against the actor. And finally, reports are coming out that he has been hosting a family of three in one of his family ranches. The problem is that Rolling Stone claims to have reviewed footage from April that appeared to show at least eight assault weapons noting that some of these weapons were even propped up next to stuffed animals. So while Urza's intentions may have been good here, it is clear that this is not the environment for two children to be in. Here are my final thoughts on the subject. Personally, I find it disturbing for Urza to show a pattern of befriending young girls and the whole thing sounds a bit archelish to me. I am also intensely curious to see what WB will ultimately do with The Flash as it is already complete and whether or not people will actually watch the film if it is released. What do you think of the case? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.